Today for math, we're going to continue practicing our three-digit addition skills by practicing some equations and by using those skills in some word problems. Let's get started. The first problem is just a review problem of what we practiced yesterday. We have 298 plus 461. Now, just like yesterday, we always start adding in the ones column. We have eight ones plus one one, so eight, nine. Oh, no new tens needed for this column. Let's go on to the tens. We have nine tens plus six tens. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 tens means that I made a new hundred. So my one hundred goes at the top, and my five tens stay at the bottom. Now let's add the hundreds column. We have four, five, six, seven. Don't forget to add that new hundred at the top. So our answer is 759. Let's practice one more equation. Just like last time, we always start over here in the ones column. So in this problem, we have seven and five more. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 ones means I made a new 10. Let's put the new 10 at the top and our two ones at the bottom. Let's add in the middle in the tens column. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Oh, 10 tens, that means that I made a new 100. And let's move to the hundreds column. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. If you remember from yesterday, if I have 10 hundreds, that means I made 1,000. So this answer is 1,002. Along with practicing equations today, we're also going to be using our new skills in some story problems. Here's the first one. Kenny Wood is selling tickets to Fright Night. On Monday, they sold 379 tickets. On Tuesday, they sold 614 tickets. How many tickets did they sell on the two days? So in my question, they're asking me to find the total for the tickets for both days. And since I'm finding the total, I know that that means I'm going to add the two numbers up together. Let's write our equation. 379, since that was our first number, and then I have 614. We learned yesterday it's so important to line those numbers up. The ones, the tens, and the hundreds all lined up together. Let's add. Starting in the ones column, we have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 ones means I made a new 10. 7, 8, 9. 9 tens, no new hundreds. Then 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 hundreds. So Kennywood sold 993 tickets on those two days. We want to make sure that we're adding that label anytime that we can, especially when we're doing a story problem. Another example is, the Boy Scouts are having their annual Pinewood Derby tournament. The children are split into two groups. The first group has 252 Boy Scouts, and the second group has 297 Boy Scouts. How many total children are participating? I saw a very key word in there, which was the word total. When I'm finding the total, I know that I'm looking for a large number and I'm going to add to find the total. Let's find our two numbers for our two groups to add up. 252 plus 297. Let's start over in the ones column, just like we always do. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, no new tens. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That means I did make a new hundred. 
I know two plus two is four, plus one more is five. 549 children. Now I'm using the word children because in the question, it says how many total children are participating. I could have written Boy Scouts, but I always look to the question to find my key word. Today for our practice, you're going to work in your math activity book on page 2, 327 and 328. After you're finished with these two pages, make sure you take a picture and send it to Miss Debussy so that she can see your work to give you credits.